Previously on The Walking Dead. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. We should go our own way when we get there. The crew is falling apart. You and I are stronger alone. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether the league wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up. Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody! 
everybody! Run! Too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! God damn it! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go. Now! I'll be fine. Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so... Where's the dog? Shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Don't know yet. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. Get it off. Ugh. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Nothing. 
Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem! God damn it, get back here! Clementine! Ta-da! Don't ever do that again! I was only trying to help. That's not the point. That was dangerous and stupid. You don't know what might be in there. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. A little harsh on her, don't you think? No, it's okay. I'm good. feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I didn't know myself until it just started working out there on the street. So you don't know who that voice was? Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. Well, we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> all right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. I guess you don't want my help, huh? You've been helpful enough for one day. Just stay close to Krista while I check the house, okay? Okay. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Nothing. Water's off. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs.
It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. All clear in here. Just one more to check. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, uh, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. I just... Oh, God. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Sorry. 
We should bury him. I'll take care of it. You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. Lee, say something. Tell him we're not ready to leave yet. Omid can barely even walk. Is he going to be any more ready to leave tomorrow, after that wound of his has had another day to fester? His best chance, our best chance, is to get the hell out of here before our situation gets any worse. Kenny's right, Krista. The sooner we find someplace else, the better. Are you just going to sit this one out? Great. Just great. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We will. But right now, we all need to focus on finding a boat. But what about what you promised? You said it was going to be just you and me. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. 
Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. your eye out for Chuck. You might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny man, let's just go back to the house and tell the others. Come up with a new plan. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. order to work. Damn. Built solid. Fuck. 
What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? I'll do something like this. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. any boots down there. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? <laughs> 